Hey guys, so today's going to be a September favourite video, if I can speak. Um, I do have hair, it is in a bun on top of my head. I never wear buns in my hair because I look bald. Um, because my buns get really heavy because I have loads of thick hair. So they like fall to the back of my head. So I look bald, but I'm not. I do have a bun. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear rain. I'm having to film next to the window because the light's really rubbish because it's like really rubbish weather outside. So, if you can hear rain, then I'm sorry. But now I'm going to get started. Um, my September favourites. I feel like the lighting is super bad. And like, if I move closer, maybe better. Maybe that's a little bit better. It's like really white. Okay, anyway. Um, so, I'm just going to... I have them on a chair here. I'm just going to pick random things. We'll start with makeup. I have absolutely 110% fallen in love with my mac studio fix fluid foundation i wear it almost every day now which is bad for my money because this cost me a lot <laughs> and wearing it every day is not good um but i absolutely love it it is so 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 nice and i'm gonna get another mac foundation for christmas because oh i love them so much well this one anyway it's just amazing and if you ever are wanting to try one and are on the fence, I would try one because... Um, another makeup product is this, which is an eyeshadow from The Body Shop. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Low battery's popping up. Um, and it is the Colour Crush Eyeshadow in 110 Sand By Me. And it's basically just like a bog standard plain kind of nude, can't even really see it too much colour. Like... There you go. Um, but this is perfect for if you're doing just plain black winged eyeliner. Because I have kind of weird, like, you can see the veins on my eyelids. And if I put this on, I literally sweep it everywhere all the way up to the brow. And then put eyeliner on. And that is my eyeshadow look. So as you can see, it's quite well loved. It's good. Um, and yeah, it's really like creamy and velvety. So love that one too. Um, another thing I've fallen back in love with is the Sleek Blush in Rose Gold, which is number 926. I got this like last year or the beginning of this year and used it and then stopped using it. And now it's coming back to like, I don't know, I just like to the shimmer it gives. So you can see this is also getting very worn down, but it is gorgeous. It is basically a pink with gold shimmer, which makes it rose gold and it's really peachy and Oh, it's lovely on the cheeks, especially with bronzer. It's like, oof. Sorry about blinding you. And, yeah. So, I've fallen back in love with this and will continue to use it. Because it's kind of like a blush and a highlighter in one kind of. It's just like shimmery cheeks. It's, it's great. If you don't like shimmery cheeks, don't buy that. Another thing is this concealer. I've been getting a lot of spots and blemishes. And this just helps cover them up perfectly. It's the Collection Perfection... Last Imperfection Concealer thingy blah, blah, blah. and it's in light number two. It's just great. It's really cheap. It's really high coverage. It stays on. It's so good. I don't think I'd ever buy like an expensive concealer because this one's just good enough and it's like £4.19 or something like that. And I have bought many of these and I am very much running out of mine. A lip combination I have been loving, well it's a lip product and a lip combo, so the product is this, which is the MUA Kiss Proof Lip Stain in Fruity Delicious. Now I bought this ages ago and never really used it, because it was kind of like a nah colour. It was a little bit dark and I thought, nah, I don't really like that too much. And I don't know why, but recently I've been like all over dark lips, so it looks like this. It's not really dark, it's just like a dark pinky colour. But this stains really well, and it stays on really well. I wore it for college one day, I was like, oh, I really like this. So then I started wearing it, and then I wore it with this, which is just a really random cheap lip gloss. It's by Boudoir Beauty. I think it's from Wilkinson's. Basically, it's just a kind of shimmery, ready pink. And when you put this over the top of the lip stain, the lip stain can get a tiny bit drying. And if you put this over the top, it's just like, wow they are really good together and like they're both really cheap it's not what i have on my lips right now but if you look on instagram photos you'll see me with this on it's just 
it's really great and it's quite low maintenance like I put this on like twice a day at college and yeah it's just great I feel like I look bald <laughs> um yeah I love these too but if you can't get this just any random pink lip gloss will do and yeah and on to dark lips this is technically a favorite and technically not a favorite I bought this today <laughs> but I'm putting in my favorites because I'm already in love with it and I know that I'm gonna use it it's what I have on my lips today I have wanted this for the longest time and never bought it everybody raves about it it's the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in 107 and oh it is the most gorgeous darkest oh color ever it's like i think this is the darkest lip i'd wear because it is quite dark it doesn't look it on camera but in reality it is reality wow in real life it is quite a dark vampy red but oh it's gorgeous and with the rose gold cheeks and the eyeliner i love this a lot so it's in my favorites pre-favorite because I probably won't do favourites in October. Because I'll probably forget. So this is pre-favourite. If that makes any sense. And I love it. And the other. A lot of lip products in this. And the final makeup is product. I've just dropped on the floor. <laughs> is this. I feel like the lighting's so bad. Is this baby lips. It's the Maybelline baby lips soothing cherry. They're like the. the like just like the. These ones. But this smells gorgeous. And it is so moisturising. It's a lot more moisturising than the normal baby lips. Not sure why that is. But it is. And I really like it. So that's all the makeup products. Um, I have like some hair things. We'll do those now. So first is this Batiste Dry Shampoo in Cool and Crisp Fresh. Basically just Batiste Dry Shampoo in general. This is just the like normal like scent. Like just normal scent but I like the um scented ones as well this has like a little bit left and I got it like two weeks ago um I love this for volume for if I have need to actually have dry shampoo I absolutely love it and I will buy some more and I've never really used too much dry shampoo before like it's a lifesaver it's a lifesaver it saves me having to wash my hair for one more day because I hate washing my hair um Another hair product is the Swatch one. Got to be Beach Matte Mermaid Look Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I use this for all different things. And first off, I love the smell of it. Like, it like smells really nice. Um, but it's just, if I have a ponytail in, I'll spray it in my ponytail to make it a bit more ruffled. If I have it like wavy, I'll spray it in that. If I have it straight and I want it a bit more, I'll put it in that. And if I'm having a bun, I'll put it in that and like shake it about first. Like, it's just so good to texturize your hair and I'm shaking it about. Um, it's like, I'm like in the light. Like, why is this happening to me? Like, if I sit closer, does this work? A little bit, but I still look a bit bald. We'll just go for sitting closer for the last bit. Um, because then you can actually see what I'm showing you. Um, so yeah, it's great. I can't remember how much it was, like five-ish pounds, I think, but it's great and it's big. So yeah, and the final hair thing is this new shampoo I've been using. I've always used the Garnier Fructis. I used to use the Strength and Shine one, but since I've started dyeing my hair, I've started getting the Colour Last. I don't have any of the conditioner at the minute. Uh, this is just a shampoo. Colour Last Fresh Colour Protect for coloured or highlighted hair. It smells really nice and I don't know if it does protect my colour but like it's a really good shampoo like it makes your hair feel clean and smells nice and says it's colour last so I believe what it says on the bottle um <laughs> yeah okay so I have three more things left um two are skin things so we'll do that first First is this Beauty Formulas Rejuvenating Glorious Mud Facial Mask. I wanted a face mask um, and this bottle was the same price as like one of the packet ones. So I thought, oh, I'll just get this. It's from Body Care. It was 99 pence. And it's like really good. Like really good. It's like a weirdo colour. Like it is brown. But like when you put it on your skin, I'll show you. 
But if I put a bit of it on my skin, like when you rub it in on your face, you can barely see it. It does look a little bit like tanned, but you can barely see it. It doesn't smell too great, but if you can get past the smell, then it is really good. Um, and you'll get a lot of use out of this. And if you don't use face mask loads, then paying 99p for a bottle like this is great. And yeah, I've never really bought face mask before. But yeah, I really enjoy this one. I use it a few times a week and yeah. It's good for the colder weather as well. It's like a nice relaxing thing while you're in the bath. And seeing as it's getting colder and there's going to be no more sun, I need to tan. So I've been using the Garnier Body Summer, Garnier Body? Body. Summer Body Moisturising Lotion Sun Kissed Look. And it's basically like one of those gradual moisturising tans, but this one smells really nice. It smells like suntan lotion and fake tan mixed together. And if you hate them smells, then don't buy this. But I really like them. And this does give you a lot of tan. Like, at once. If you get me. Like, it's quicker than any others that I have tried. And I just really like it. And it has apricot extract in it, in case that sways any of you to buy it. But this is my second bottle of this. Um, so, yeah. It's usually on offer as well, most of the time, somewhere it's on offer. And they do a bigger bottle than this as well. This is the 250 ml. And the final thing is my Hollister spray. This is Crescent Bay. I have this one and another one. And I haven't used my Hollister sprays in a while. And then the love has brought it back to me. I think now it's winter, I want it to smell like summer. So I'm like, I'll just use my Hollister spray, it smells like summer. Um, well, it's not winter, it's autumn, but yeah. So that is all in my favourites. I haven't done a favourites in a long time and I feel like I've looked bald all the way through the video and I'm sorry about the lighting but yeah um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you have give it a thumbs up. Oh that almost watched on my hand. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.